Hi, and welcome again to 12 Minute Prep. In this lesson, we will go over important facts that you should be aware of as you start preparing for the Revelian Cognitive Ability Test. This includes the test's content and format, its scoring methods, some sample questions, and we will go over the curriculum of the course to better understand how I can help you maximize your score potential on this test. Let's start. The Revelian Cognitive Ability Test, or RCAT, is an aptitude test that measures general cognitive ability. It is frequently used for pre-employment purposes, and it is said to be a predictor of future job performance. It is often used by employers to assess potential candidates during the hiring process. The test contains 51 questions and 20 minutes to complete. There are over 25 question types that are a mix of multiple choice and fill-in-the-blank formats. The test's questions become increasingly difficult as you progress through the test. You're also only allowed to take the RCAT once every 12 months. When you complete the test, you will receive a raw score, which is just a total number of questions out of 51 that you answered correctly. Your raw score will be converted into a percentile score to compare you against other candidates. Employers may compare your score to four main groups, the general population of employed workers, workers in your industry, other candidates competing for the same job as you, and just graduate or management level candidates. While the test publisher does not provide official information about scores, there are a few estimated benchmarks that you should be aware of. The average score is around 20 out of 51. A score of 24 is in the 70th percentile, a score of 28 is in the 86th percentile, and a score of 30 puts you in the 90th percentile. From this, you can see how big of a difference a few questions can make and how crucial it is to go into this test prepared. The test is made up of three sections, numerical reasoning, verbal reasoning, and abstract reasoning. Each section contains 17 questions, approximately, for a total of 51 questions. Numerical reasoning questions will evaluate your ability to work with and understand numbers. Question types include number series, number matrices, and word problems. Let's take a look at a sample question. Take 45 seconds starting now. The correct answer is C. There are two patterns going on here. First, as we move across the matrix, the numbers increase by two, as we can see in the first and third row. Second, as we move down the matrix, the numbers increase by three, as we can see in the first and third column. This means the missing number is nine, as it fits the plus two pattern going across the second row, as well as the plus three pattern going down the second column, making C the correct answer. Verbal reasoning questions will evaluate your understanding of the English language, as well as your ability to think critically and draw conclusions. Question types include analogies, vocabulary, deductive reasoning, and odd one outs. Let's take a look at a sample question. Take 45 seconds starting now. The correct answer is statements B and D. 
we know that Susan's car gets 33 miles per gallon of gasoline. Statement D is the only one that mentions this number, and it says that it applies to blue cars. Statement B states that Susan drives a blue car, meaning that her car gets 33 miles per gallon. Abstract reasoning questions will assess your ability to visualize and sort shapes, as well as your ability to understand patterns. Question types include figural series and odd one outs. I cannot stress enough the importance of preparing for this test. Here's just a modest example for how things can look for a candidate before and after taking a course. Imagine John's starting point prior to practice's 20 out of 51 correct answers, which puts him above 50% of the population. Completing a course with a thorough review of each question type, teaching him how to shortcut his response times and spot the traps more easily with practice examples, and then having him complete full-length simulations that let him train in real test conditions with test-taking strategies can get him to score 26 questions correct, which is roughly above 75% of the population. That is, with the help of preparation, John got past 25% of the population of candidates, and this is a modest success story on my website. Even if we take a much more modest scenario, there's absolutely no advantage to running into this test unprepared. You can start out by taking my free introduction prep course on my website. This course has helped over 80,000 candidates to date. It is listed as a recommended resource among recruiters and HR teams. There is also the option of taking my paid prep course, which was created specifically for the RCAT. You will get a 360 preparation experience, lessons for each question type, summary quizzes plus explanations, and solving tips to reduce response times, score reports to identify your strengths and weaknesses, full-length practice tests to simulate real test conditions, test taking and time management strategies, the option to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a test expert who will help you maximize your own score potential. Start maximizing your score potential with 12-minute prep today.